So yes, we put together oh a number my. of stories for you in celebration of the Ghana National Farmers Day. And so take a look. Hotopo with a predominantly farming population of close to 5,000 is among the 123 communities in the Hunter West Municipality of the Western Region. Oil palm farms dominate the entire landscape of the 3 km square community best known for palm oil production. There are more than seven palm oil processing centers offering employment to close to 400 people, majority of them being women. This palm oil producing center here at Hotopo in the Anta West Municipal Assembly is about one of the five active producing centers in this community. Now, this particular center that you see behind me offers employment to more than 30 people, mainly women. On an active day, they are able to produce more than 50 of these cans full of palm oil. The challenge they have is access to credit. Richard Kwashi owns Oyadum Palm Oil Processing Center. He buys the palm fruit from 10 farmers and is able to produce palm oil to fill 50 of these receptacles after each production cycle within one week. We have people from Takrade and Hotopo who buys from us. Now at the same time, them yellow so no go on them to go for no so what He desires to expand the center. Access to credit is a challenge. That is what is hampering my work. Assembly member for the area, Charles Kobinansa, tells me he has started discussions with some lending institutions in the municipality to support palm oil production. Financially, they are facing difficulties in their business. I have given their, uh, the notice to the Greek sector in the Huntington Municipal Assembly. They have been here to have some engagements with them. I'm hoping that uh, the assembly election will come over so that uh, I try to extend my decision to the local uh, credit union around the municipal assembly so that they will come to their aid and support them with their finance in terms of their work. 50-year-old Mary Akins has been employed at the center. As the country celebrates its gallant farmers, these palm oil producers request government to establish a dedicated fund to support their work. Eric Yoreje, TV3 News, Hotopo, Ahanta West Municipality. Biosecurity practice is prioritized on this farm. Harriet currently works on this 30-acre land farm at Kubase, one of her numerous farmlands. She is into integrated farming. The idea was mooted by her husband, a retired veterinarian, in 2010. She started with 2,000 broilers, but now has over 200,000 beds, comprising broilers and layers. It has been a difficult journey. Harriet, in fact, tells me a story about how at the point in time they have to adopt a batter system to meet an emotional cost. We went all around telling people we have nice a broiler, they are ready, they need to pick them, but nobody was really interested. So we now sought to a friend who owns a hotel and then a, a restaurant as well. So. We spoke to him and he accepted that, oh, you bring them, uh, I'll, I'll buy them. We were so happy. We have to even dress for him. That is the processed meat. We took it to him and afterwards we have to chase him up for the money so we can also start another one. Finally, we have to go and take this as a butter trade. We, we go for lunch <laughs> to cover. With 20 pounds. Harriet is raising over 20,000 species of fish. She has her own hatchery where she produces the offsprings through artificial insemination. The site serves as a demonstration environment for students of KNUST. Next to it is a piggery with a pig put up under strict hygienic conditions. 
blazing the trail in the agri sector, Harriet was adjudged the best livestock farmer in 2018. Her challenge is access to credit facility, as most banks in Ghana see farming as a high-risk venture. In the last three years, fish production in Ashanti has increased from 100 to 220 metric tons, mostly in catfish and tilapia. The region houses the second pilot aquaculture. 69-year-old Mary Nyanta and her siblings took over the aquaculture farming business from their late uncle five years ago. With nine large and four small ponds at Fabi in the Asuka municipality, Mary describes the business as lucrative, though expensive to manage due to the high cost of fish feed. Profit margins are also affected by the lack of ready market, compelling farmers to dispose of their harvest at poor prices. <laughs> Ashanti Regional Director of Fisheries, Gideon Boache, observed challenges in land acquisition and access to capital have discouraged most youth from venturing the sector. In this region, we could have an area specifically earmarked for the sale of farm fish products, a structure well built where farmers could bring their products so that within the week, if two or three days, for example, could be earmarked for the sale of yes, fish market, the farm fish. According to the Asuka Municipal Director of Agric, Martha Ashami Ama, the full potentials of aquaculture for job creation and food sufficiency are yet to be exploited. Financial setup is a bit capital intensive. So we advise those who have started to start on a small scale, then you start expanding. But it's this history which it looks very lucrative. Stakeholders believe that if it receives the needed attention, production will increase and also consumption of the tilapia and catfish would also increase. Beaches, Piagabra, TV3 News, Shapache, Fadi. Akatin is a predominantly fishing community. Inhabitants have been engaged in fishing and other jobs within the value chain for decades and their contributions towards revenue generation in the upper Manya Krobo district cannot be overlooked. It is a fishing day and as usual, fishermen are ready to embark on the expedition. However, a major product they depend on, pre-mixed fuel, is in a short supply. According to them, they have no idea where the four tankers with the capacity of 30,000 gallons, each designated for the catchment area, has to. Lack of pre-mixed fuel means they cannot meet the demand and obviously will have very little to support their families with. The premise fuel is a big issue. Sometimes we go several weeks without fuel. Already, fishermen say they are battling with unfavorable weather conditions. When the weather is bad, we come back without a catch. The National Best 2018 Fish Farmers in Oksuti and former Best District Farmer Amos Aite blamed the situation on middlemen in the delivery chain. You will get it 24 cities, but we buy it 7 cities. The Mali Center, River Riverside, we are tired of the premise fuel. The fish business all depend on the fuel. Because if you get fuel, you can go fish. We go far, far to bring the fish to the community. Send it to the Adabakra area. Our women send it to the Adabakra area. It is not only the fishermen who are bearing the brunt, but both operators, fishmongers and others, in the value chain. 